Okay, this one, this one is, is super simple. This is Gimli, the hatchet man. And as we see in these shots here, he is carrying not one axe, but multiple axes. In fact, I believe at one point he has like four almost. He has two, carrying two, one in his belt and, and his, his large one somewhere, I guess, on his back. Um, and here's what Tolkien wrote uh, as they left Rivendell. Gimli the dwarf alone wore openly a short shirt of steel rings, for dwarves make light of burdens, make light of burden speaking of our last change where you know they're natural born sprinters oh really <laughs> uh and in his belt was a broad bladed axe legless had a bow and a quiver and at his belt a long white knife so um yeah we're talking about gimli's uh weaponry here but i think we can encompass more weaponry as well just because uh we don't want to go over every little change that every little person had in every little weapon Right. Yeah. Just to clarify, and of course, this isn't evident from our title, maybe, but or as evident as it could be, but we are here using Gimli as a, a an example, an exemplar of how the fact that Peter Jackson and his crew did make changes to armor and weaponry yeah. of of the, the people of the of the um nine. And to In be clear, case. yeah, and to be clear, this doesn't encompass things like how the how the hobbits got their swords. We'll talk because that's weaponry, but that's actually a change to the plot. So. Right, right, right. We're just talking about the cosmetic differences between how Tolkien sometimes describes. Right. Um, so the image you have up here, that would be okay. basically what Tolkien described. Right. As, Gimli with as, his one large axe. Right. Uh, and then, but then here we have uh, the the next photo. We zoom in a little bit. We have Gimli, and you can see he's carrying two axes, and in fact, at his belt. Uh, right there is a third axe. I think this is the one he picked up probably here in the mines. Uh, I don't do the, I don't even remember if they show him picking that one up, but apparently it looks like it with its little rusty bits. Yeah. It uh, and then here's, like you know, so he has three axes and I'm guessing his broad axe is on his back. Um, may, ha may just not be in the shot. You know, yeah. that's just one of those, one of those things. So one axe versus four axes. So where, where do we stand on that? Let, let's, let's get into that. First question, as per is our usual, is, is it lore friendly? Uh, I'll start here with this one this time. I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's lore friendly. I don't think it's a huge deal. It's not uh, the end of the world. It's not that uh, this changes the character or this changes plot lines or anything like that. If, you know, if the ring was made into a necklace or if the ring was made into a, you know, a, 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 a wearable filigree or something like that it was that's different uh but gimli's axe is is not changing the plot the storyline the character or anything like that of the book agreed i say yes as well is it lore friendly and the reason is because while it is technically against this is a funny this is i mean people need to understand where we're coming from on this <laughs> it, spirit because yes exactly lore friendly implies the spirit of the lord not just the technicalities of the way it's written yeah. so it is technically a different thing for Legolas to have one knife in the books and two knives in the movies. Um, but I don't think that, and, and Gimli to have it. Now, the, here's my here's where I draw the line. If they're adding so many weapons or weapons of such different nature that it just changes the vibe of the entire character or the, the actions that they take, then then that's a problem. Now, Say, the, for instance, like Galadriel in the Rings of Power. She carries a sword. <laughs> And that makes it different. She's, that's not lore friendly. Um, yeah, and and we love talking about the Rings of Power, so uh, so we're not going to. In this case. <laughs> um, but that, yeah. So I, I I do think it's lore friendly. I, I would I was always thinking things like you know Tolkien described Aragorn, for example, as having a bow and a sword, but that's it. Do we yeah. really think that a guy that travels in the wild and needs to survive and and remove branches for firewood and stuff doesn't have either a small axe or a knife on hand, a long knife or something like that. Of course he does. Of course he's a ranger. He's going to have things. Tolkien, that just isn't important to the story. So Tolkien doesn't mention all of the bladed weapons that, or things that might be used as weapons that he might have. So yeah. I don't, I don't think it's against the lore. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Next question. Does the change make for better cinema? Mm. I mean, yeah. I guess I, I'm ambivalent. I like it. Does it make? Oh, okay. Well, actually, you it's set a, a trend. You, you set a trend. Totally which yes. You said if, if it doesn't actually make for better cinema, then you then you say no. 
-hmm. So that's your, that's your, um, that's your line. So, but I, but I, I read the question slightly differently. I mean, I did, I think it visually makes it more effective. Um, have him having more than one axe is fine for, and it actually makes him more formidable as a warrior rather than just the one axe. Although that axe he has is pretty impressive, the double bladed axe. Um, so, so does it make for better cinema? Uh, I definitely think it makes it for better cinema with regard to Legolas, actually, since we were using this as a universal yeah. example. Like Legolas fighting with two knives, like showing elves being ambidextrous, for example, which is they probably all are <laughs> um, mm -hmm. pr from their sort of physical mm -hmm. perfection. Um, that, that makes for better cinema, absolutely. So, yeah, I, I actually think it does make for better cinema to add weaponry as appropriate to the character style. Also... I'm not um, there's the only two, are there only two famous, actually, Kuzdal lines from Lord of the Rings? There's only two famous ones, but the axes of the dwarves are upon you um, is one of the lines from Kuzdal that Tolkien actually had written in. Um, Kazad I Menu. Um, Baruch okay. Kazad and Kazad I Menu are the two lines. And one of them, yeah, the axes of the dwarves are upon you. And and uh, and so you know implies more than one X. So there we go. Could Gimli's got more than one X. <laughs> I know. That's, I know. That's, <laughs> all right. All right. That's, that's so, yeah. Um, uh, see, here's the thing: is that I feel I feel like uh, the question isn't necessarily even about like does. I think it makes it easier in cinema. It's like, okay, we're going to make him cooler with more axes. It's kind of like having a sequel where he's like, we're going to make it cooler with more villains. You can't make a character cooler just because he's got more axes. I don't, I don't think it necessarily makes for better cinema. I think it, it can, but I think in this case, they could have done it just fine with him carrying one axe or even, even um, Legolas with one knife uh, and using it expertly between two hands. Right. it's like, you know, a knife. Yeah. Are, so are you saying that because you're more ambivalent and you're, it isn't clear to you that it's better uh, cinema. So, so you don't, you won't give it a yes. I I, I could have I, I think if they would have gone back and not done that with Gimli, I don't think it would have made for a worse film. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So that that's my take. Although I can understand why you wouldn't why not believe that. Um, yeah, and, and no, again, I see where not... I see where you're coming from. I just like the idea of a warrior being shown with more than one weapon because they yeah. usually did have more than one weapon. So, hmm. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, next question: How much do you like the change? Um, I, it's uh. Like it didn't bother me at all when I saw the films. I, it didn't really even occur to me much because you know, as, as you're going through the films uh, or as you're going through the books, you don't think about it's not it's not top of mind how many axes Gimli has. So uh, I think, man, I'm doing this a lot, but I'm going to split the difference again. I'm I'm fine with it. It just doesn't matter to me a whole lot, even though it doesn't make for necessarily better cinema simply because they they could have done without it. Uh, it doesn't. It's not like I like the change. It's not like I dislike the change. So I'm right in the middle. Two point five. Okay. Um, yeah, I I do. I think it's slightly better um, with with the vi for the visualization of warriors to be shown with weapon a variety of weaponry, and so and Gimli's definitely a warrior in this in the books and the movies, and so um, so I I'll go. I'm gonna, but it's not that big. I, I don't love it. I don't think it's a great change. Just it, it, I'm more ambivalent. So I'm gonna go three point six. Three point six. 